what do you want people to take away from the film, or what is something that you really want the audience to connect with or, or uh, remember it for? There's a lot of love in it. There's a yeah. lot of love in like this journey for self-respect and understanding and yeah. and feeling that. I mean, there's a, there's a beautiful moment of like, you know, can you quote yourself about the luck? Oh, feel fortunate because chances are good you actually might be. Um, but the the first part. Oh, seize your day is that one? Um, but before, if you, if you think you may be uh, lucky, feel fortunate. Oh, See, that, the last thing is feel fortunate because yes. chances are good you actually yeah. might be. It's that's what that's what that's what Uma's character Eliza ends up with. That's her. It's that's the di- her feeling. The, the end diamonds of the day. in your own backyard. You know, right. it's like is is seeing that. You know, it's it's not the Gogol diamond mind. There's that's a, a famous, really nice way to put it. it there's, is, a, there's a famous story about the guy, a, a man wanting to find diamonds, and how he went, goes and he searches the earth, and he walks the deserts, and he digs holes all over the planet, and eventually in his home where he had a large tract of land, they discover that which was eventually the Gogol diamond mine. It's a famous, famous story that you know, the man left his home to search for something that actually was the greatest vein of diamonds ever struck in his very backyard. And, and, and that's the beautiful resolution of the film, but at the same time, the film also is, here are the stages of a mother's day, mm-hmm. and here is the reality of what it takes to try to have a self and to be a parent and to be a good mother. And what, it, what are those expectations placed upon a mother, and how does a mother carve out an identity and connect to the person that she always has been and still be... A mother, and you know, What's, what is a good mother too? Do you know what I mean? Like, you're not a perfect person. Does that make you a bad mother? That's you know right. I mean, you have you're personally flawed. You have, you have days where perhaps you really fall off of where you want to be, and you know the the journey of and the the, the 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 expectation we have of trying to fulfill this with these precious kids that we love, and then meanwhile you completely lose yourself. That's right. You know, I, I mean, I felt like because I had my first child at, at 28, you know, I felt like I woke up. You know, three years later, I was a 31-year-old person. I was like, what happened? <laughs> you know, like, my last time I, I, I like, thought, it was, oh, that's who I am, I was 26. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you like, had to catch up. I had a huge shock. It was like, uh, you know, I, suddenly, not only am I back in the real world, but I'm, I'm in my 30s. I mean, I, it was literally like just having been plucked in and out of identity. And there's... And there's that's a very common feeling, I think, that women feel that is very rarely... Examine. I'm sure that um, unless you timed out like you had one at 21, right. so you could wake up at 25 or 26. I would have been the worst mother at 21. The no, worst. no, terrible. No, but then maybe, the, or if you had one at 33 and you wake up at yeah. 39, that maybe not, is that that's disaster too, right? I don't know. Anyway, you slice it, it's problematic. Is this trouble? But I'm sure in the very